Kevin can finally get back on the basketball court. It's where he spent most of his time before the COVID pandemic. Before the pandemic hit, oh, it was just simple, go outside, do activities, like shoot around, stuff like that, hang out with friends, play ball with friends, like these kids right here, and yeah, stuff like that. But from one day to the next, everything changed. Schools and sports facilities were closed during the lockdown. Even the basket hoops were removed so that no one could play here. For me, it was brutal because, like I said, I didn't really know. All I know was like play ball, stay fit. But, like I didn't, my knowledge on like activities was um, low, so I was miserable in the house. I was home alone most of the time. My mom was at work, um, 16-hour shifts. Uh, it's a little boring though. The only thing I really had, only company I had was my dog at the time, books and games. Kevin's mother, Miracle, is a single parent. She works at a nearby hospital. During the pandemic, she had little time to look after her son. She was shocked to see how lonely he was and even how his body had changed. The hardest part of the pandemic was seeing my son when I would come home. Uh, in the same spot, I left him. He started snacking more. Of course, he's sitting home, you're watching television, there's nothing to do, you can't go out. Started eating unhealthy, put on a few pounds. You started seeing the weight gain. I'm probably responsible for some of his weight too because I was too exhausted to cook healthy meals. I was too exhausted to stand on lines to wait for, you know, to go inside of a grocery store. And, you know, I was just exhausted. During the pandemic, the proportion of overweight children rose dramatically, particularly in poorer areas and among minorities in the U.S. How are you? How are you? Dr. Sarita Duper confirms this trend. She's a pediatric cardiologist in the Brooklyn borough of New York and specializes in the care of obese children. Everything just got exaggerated during COVID. So the kids' weights went up. Kids were already very obese, and they got much more obese. The kids who were pre-diabetic got diabetes. The rate of diabetes went up a lot in this community. The people had high blood pressure, people had high cholesterol, and people became totally deconditioned. They were not doing any exercise at all. Sarita Duper is trying to turn things around. Years ago, she founded the organization Live Light, Live Right. The group offers fitness and nutrition courses to children and parents. During the pandemic, the courses went online. But now, everyone's back outside on the field. Jump. Jump. Come on, Isaac. The doctor knows how dangerous obesity is for children. If a 10-year-old child is one and a half times his weight, all his organs are aging. He's not a normal 10-year-old. His body is like a 30, 40-year-old. His heart is very stiff. It's serious. I'm even seeing liver dysfunction. I'm seeing kids get fatty liver. Their kidneys are not functioning good. I've seen patients go into early heart failure. Kevin has managed to get his weight under control, but he didn't do it alone. That Online videos from a New York nonprofit called Active Plus taught him how to get back in shape through simple exercises. It helped me a lot. It definitely expanded my knowledge on like different workouts to do instead of the push-ups, squats, sit-ups. Definitely did expand my knowledge and other stuff like even cardio. Like I didn't know you could do cardio at home at the time. For Kevin, his experience during the pandemic has made a real impact. He now wants to study kinesiology and sports medicine and teach others how to live healthy, eat right, and stay fit. He now knows firsthand how important it is and also how difficult it can sometimes be.